What's going on, YouTube? East New York's finest, hosted by Mike. What's popping? Well, um, this past week, well, yesterday I did a garage sale. It was pretty good. And today, I made about $3,000 between today and yesterday, or between yesterday and today. Um, you know, I had some bills and stuff I had to pay, so that basically just went to bills. But hey, it is what it is. Um, I did splurge a little today. Um, technically last week and the week before that, I wasn't supposed to have, I was really trying to save up money for Comic Con. But yesterday at my garage sale, I was told by an individual that his friend was there and his friend, he actually showed me a text and his friend, um, no, 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 there was two people. I'm sorry. One guy said, I forgot who he said. The, uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. I know one guy definitely told me that, um, you know, his friend said that Michael J. Fox supposedly had been charging somewhere around a G. I, I don't really understand it, but my interpretation was his prices are, were ridiculous from what I was told. But I guess tomorrow, oh, I forgot he's not going to be there tomorrow. He was only there today and yesterday. Um, but I'm only going to Comic-Con. Um, I'm only going because of, you know, um, the cast of Smallville. I always wanted to meet, um, you know, um, Kristen. I don't want to, you know, butcher her last name. I think it's Crook or Karak or uh, anyway, the girl played Lana Lang. Uh, of course, Tom Welling. I mean, you know, if, I, if, 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 if John Glover and Erica, uh, the, the woman who played Lois Lane is next to the two of them, I might just see how much it'll, it'll cost for like a group shot. Because I'm a huge fan of Smallville and I always wanted to meet Tom Welling and Lana Lang. You know, I mean, well, I'm actually saying her stage name and his real name, but you guys know what I mean. Uh, that'll be my first time ever meeting anybody who ever played a Superman character. So I'm very excited about that because I'm a huge fan of Superman. I mean, of course, Batman and Superman, I always said all my two favorite DC characters. One is not over another, but they are kind of on the same level like Wolverine and the Hulk are to me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyhow... This stuff here I got um, at the market, and then this was basically retail. Well, not really this, but in a way. I'll, I'm going I'm to show you guys this in a sec. Well, obviously a little later. But um, this stuff here, the same lady I brought some Legos from a little over a month ago, she, uh, she charged me $150 for some pretty dope shit, and I actually kept the Thor hammer, Milnir. Um, I built, I, I, um, the box was kind of damaged, but it was still sealed new. So I actually built me on there and I have I have that upstairs. And it's kind of cool that it actually gives you like a little name uh, um a little nameplate with Thor and some other little accessories like mini figures to build and you can have it next to it which is kind of cool. I mean it's not really warranted but whatever. Um and she had this stuff. She probably had more. Um I think she only wanted 15 for these each. The the Lego City stunts. Um they are brand new. I don't know where she gets her stuff from. Where I, I, I gotta figure out where this place is. Def Solve, or whatever the hell this is. I gotta look this place up and see where this is, because all her stuff be having these stickers on it. And she always having Legos. You got this Disney Frozen Two. Um, originally the price she wanted, uh, we wound up selling it on. Uh, she said she'd do everything for seventy. I figured this thing had to be worth at least eighty bucks, because I always see these Mickey Mouse. Um, things and I, I know lego make you know lego you know I me mean? come on mickey mouse is the the mascot for disney so anyway she had this stuff and she wanted uh she get she said one price and when she remembered she said another so i got you know the 40s for only 70 bucks i thought that was pretty cool considering the fact that i know that this is worth that by itself even sold on ebay you know what i mean so i figured you know these these three are icing on a cake this is probably worth maybe ten dollars less to forty dollars more. I don't know. I just know that it's definitely worth about seventy dollars at least. Um, this um a kid named Chris, white dude. Um, his mom real nice. His mom used to work in the uh in 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 the uh, Meadowlands flea market. She was one of the ladies who worked the booth. Uh, really really pleasant. Every time I saw her, I knew I was gonna get a good spot. She was just like a really nice lady. You know what I mean? Like just. Phenomenal. So I'm always asking Chris, I, you know, tell his mama said hi, et cetera, et cetera. But anyway, he had this stuff. Unfortunately, he didn't have Egon, which I couldn't understand that, how he had all these and not have him. 
But um, whatever, you know, he didn't. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, but, you know, it's the D, it's the Diamond Select. Um, so, and, you know, Mikey, Mikey likes teddy bears and shit. So he wants this. So I'll probably just give this to him. Um, the kid gave me a good price for this. He uh he wanted I think thirty or thirty five each on them. I thought that was pretty decent considering that they're old. Um, I think they're somewhere around forty to fifty five each. Um, so he gave me a decent deal. Um, I paid twenty five dollars for them each. Um, you got um Walter Peck, Goza the Destructor. You got Ray Stance, Winston Zedmore, and Slime Peter Vankman. Um, I mean I I got I, I mean I took whatever he had so. You know what I mean? So I got a you know a good deal, twenty five dollars each. Uh, I think he did twenty on the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. I just took it because it was like a a a, a a a deal. So he gave me a, he gave me a little a little price off. So you know you figure this is what you know you figure four of them at a hundred. You got here a hundred and uh, twenty five, and then twenty a hundred and forty five. So I basically he just gave it to me for one forty. So it's like he knocked on he only he not only did he knock off money like uh, ten dollars each. But then at you know, but then as a group thing, he just want knocked off another five. So that's not bad. So he knocked off sixty five dollars altogether, which he didn't have to do. So thank you, Chris, for that. Uh, and again, I'll show you. Uh, you got the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. So I'm gonna get that to Mikey because he wants it. And here you got Slime Peter Vankman. You got regular on uh, Winston Zedmore. You got Walter Peck. Uh, you got Goza the Destructor and Ray Stance. Ray Stance does have damage down there, but I'll just sell them all on the lot at a lot at the toy show. At a, at a toy show, I should be able to get you know at least forty to fifty dollars more than retail. I'm gonna hold them. I'm gonna hold them for a while. The longer you hold shit, the better. You know, I mean, you know, doesn't matter. Maybe I'll come across an Egon later. Who knows? Maybe I'll look for one online and sell it. I mean, buy it just to. Maybe I'll buy all. Who knows? I, I don't know yet, but. Not not a problem with, for me. Uh, this stuff here, I got this from Vinny. Vinny Vu, as I call him. You know, he's a kid I know, Filipino kid. Hey, look everybody, it's DJ Vinifine. He uh, you know, he's 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 a guy I know from from the flea. Oh, I didn't realize this was missing a wing. Son of a bitch. But anyway, you got Hawk. That's probably why I was still sitting there. I, I didn't notice that. But you have here Hawkman from DC I'm sorry uh, let me go see what this dog's doing what, what Spike what are you doing oh okay now I thought you was eating something you're not supposed to be eating because you got a sensitive stomach so I want to make sure there's nothing on the floor you alright say hi speak don't say no say hi speak to people say hi to Facebook Ah, stay right there. You know you can't come on the carpet. Say hi. Speak. You don't want to speak? Speak. There you go. Good boy. Say hi. Say hi. Good dog. Sit. All right. Sit down, Spike. Be good boy. Sit. Good. Ah, ah. Don't come in here. Sit. He's happy now. Now he's, 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 he's happy yeah, because I pay him attention. Now he ain't gonna shut up. <laughs> well, for anybody out there who think pit bulls, especially blue noses, are aggressive, I'm gonna tell you the same thing I tell everybody. It doesn't matter what neighborhood you grow up. You know, if you grow up around decent people, regardless of what color they are, what their nationality is, where you grow up, you're a product of your environment. You know, if you raise right, you're gonna be, you're gonna grow up to be right. And prime example of a blue nose pit bull, Spike. Go, ah, go to, yeah, good boy. Go, sit. All right, good dog. There you go. And then uh, I got this from Chris, the mailman. Uh, I forgot what he sold me this for. But, you know, there's some G.I. Joes in here, some uh, 25th anniversary guys. Some are from the movie. Here we have a, a 2000 and early 2000 and something uh, Wild Bill. Then we got here, I think this is just a regular G.I. Joe Trooper, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we have here a Cobra Commander. I don't like those Cobra. I didn't even recognize that. Then we have here, I think, two different versions of Duke from the movie. 
some other Cobra Commander crap. I, I forgot what I paid for this uh, for this bag, but whatever I paid for it, it was it was still worth it. So whatever. So yeah, there you have that. And this, and this I got from somebody else. But first, let me tell you about this. This is the first thing I got early in the morning. This old white dude. He's like in his late seventies. Um. Early in the morning, you know, you, you get a lot of good stuff from him. He doesn't give a shit what he's got. He sells things cheap. Um, he did. He had a couple of a couple of other um, Star Wars figures. I grabbed this one because it's actually a decent one. He had another one. I forgot what the robot was, but it was uh, from the um, Power of the Force. I stand clear of Power of the Force stuff. But this one is the Chopper Droid, um, and it's from the Star Wars Revenge of the Sith. Vader's medical droid. So this is pretty dope. I didn't even look it up, but I knew that it was Vader's droid. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna um pick it up. He wanted five dollars for them. Some other people put the stuff down like they thought the man was crazy. I was like, eh, five dollars, whatever. I had I had it, so I gave it to him for this. So I paid five bucks for this. This other dude, I can only imagine the other stuff he had. Cause um they, I thought their prices were good. Um, he had the NECA um, Chainsaw Massacre, 20 bucks. NECA Friday the 13th, 20 bucks. I got a good deal for this stuff. Um, you know, everything here, I got these guys and these two for, what did he do? 80 bucks. He And he had another, um, he had another figure, uh, a Marvel Legend figure that was in box. And he said he'll do it all. He had twenty dollars on it. He said he'll do it all for eight, uh, for a hundred. And I'm looking at him like, well, okay, like, why would I pay you? I mean, you know, I don't understand. This guy's giving me all this stuff for a deal. Why on God's green earth would I sit, turn around and <laughs> and pay <coughs> twenty dollars more for a figure? He should have said ten because he had it for twenty. <coughs> I think was it twenty or thirty? It doesn't matter. I paid eighty bucks for all this. Um. First off, as you see, he got the price um, at $10 on these. I'm not going to charge $10. i am going to put these in another Ziploc bag and put the price up more. That's what you do. I don't know his name, so I'm not going to even act like I do. I do think he's a DC character. He might be Marvel. I don't know. Don't give a shit. Whoever the hell he is, that should easily be a, at least a $20 figure. But this is 10 This is the Hulk for the movie. He had it at 5 That's the reason why I took it, because it was 5 then of course we got the uh, the DC classic Superman. He had this also at ten, which I thought was pretty priced cheap. I can't believe why I don't understand why nobody didn't take it, but hey, whatever. He has it at ten. Of course, I've seen people sell these at the show for thirty five or fifty bucks for these. So I should take this tomorrow and get it signed by um, by this guy too. Actually, I might just do that, even though this has nothing to do with him. Then we have here a uh, DC. Um, Flash, 10 bucks on him as well. He should definitely be like a 20, at least 20, 24 dollars. Silver Surfer, also 10 bucks. Again, I can't believe these things didn't sell. And he comes with the stand, like the Cosmic Rock, with his uh, surfboard. And it's definitely Marvel Legend. I mean, he got 10 dollars on this. This should easily be 30 bucks, 30 dollars or more. And then you got this bag of goodies. He said they're all official Legos, and now I kept looking at them, and a lot of them are the Mighty, um, I'm about to say Mighty Max. They are the uh, the Mighty Minis, or mini, Mighty Minis, I think. Um, they normally are like $9.99 in the store. It comes in like a real small box, and it's just like a little vehicle with some of like uh, the Star Wars, DC, and Marvel guys. It's like a little side pack pet. Or, I mean, not pet, a little side thing they do, but there are some figures in here. And I do very well at the uh, toy shows with Lego. So, yeah. He had 40 bucks on this. There's definitely... I mean, just the figures alone are worth about... If I do $10 each on them, there's probably about 30 or 40 figures in here. No, no I wouldn't say that. Maybe 20 At $10 a pop, 20 figures, that's 200 bucks all day. So, he, 40 50 60 70, 75, 85, 105, 125. So you got $125 worth of stuff right here I got from this dude. 
and he gave me everything for 80 bucks. So that's basically $45 off. What I'm doing now is I have to I have to reaccumulate my whole basement. So I'm going to keep constantly doing toy shows and I'm going to constantly be taking loose stuff to sell. And uh, I'm going to just start keeping package shit and just hold it and hold it until later on and just start selling everything later. That's my plan. So that's basically where I'm at with this. Then um, Muslim brother, he's actually, um, I always keep forgetting his name. He's from Egypt, real cool guy, like one of the nicest guys you can meet. I don't say that too often. Uh, this stuff here, I got from him. Uh, I forgot to pick up the other Roadster, but whatever. Um, he only charged me, I think he only charged me 10 bucks for this. There's one inbox and one out. This is NECA, um, the, uh, obviously the Avengers Endgame, Captain America. I mean, um, Captain Marvel. Carol De um, Denver, Devers, or whatever her damn name is. But this one is loose, good condition, especially considering she's loose. And there's one in a box. So at 10 bucks, I decide I'm going to give him more money later on. So there's two of these. There's one loose and one in box. This Jimmy Hart, I think this is um, WCW. I'm going to um, take it downstairs and put some comment on it. Um, the Kind of rub him a little bit, rub some of the paint rub off and stuff like that. And end of it, oh, I didn't realize he had this in the back. Yeah, whatever. You got this, uh, All American Tell. I don't know why I got these. These are trading cards, but they are sealed. Don't ask me why I got this. I have no freaking idea. <laughs> this thing here, like I said, he had two of them. Same thing. Don't really know why I got it, but at that price, why not? So whatever. I'll probably take the I'll probably take both of these. Of course, this and these are going to the toy show at the end of the month. And this guy here was probably the the best deal of the whole bunch. Seventy bucks for this. Some people might say, "Why is he so big?" Or so I saw it, I got excited. I knew the box. I know the size of it, and I know exactly what brand this is. So, when I asked the guy how much was the Spider-Man, and he actually said, oh, the toner Spider-Man? I was like, oh, fuck. And he, then he told his wife, um, yeah, we got that on eBay, don't we? So, I'm thinking he's going to say like two, two fifty or something like that. Because, you know, um, toner dolls were very, very popular back in, the, I would say, the high peak of when Sideshow statues were just coming out at just around three, three fifty, And when Hot Toys was... Kind of at its peak of being very, very well wanted and well rounded at just around 150 to just going around 200 for the D for the DXs or deluxe figures. These were very sought after and very popular. They were up there with the Living Dead dolls. And, you know, Toner made some really nice shit. Um, like they, they, their figures are really, really nice, like for porcelain. Big dolls, like they're very, they were very, 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 very nice, and they did a very limited run of Marvel, and I think a couple of DC too, because I think they ran out of the license, and they paid a lot for the license too, so they became real popular, high demand, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So when I saw this version of the Tobey Maguire, aka Spider Man Three, Spider Man, I had to have it. So when I asked the guy what he wanted, he said, "Oh, a buck," and I'm like, "Oh, okay, that's not bad." And he said, "I'll tell you what, man, if you really want it." I would do 80 bucks. And I was like, eh, all right, I'm going to walk around. And he mumbled to his wife, he's going to walk around. And, I'm, and I, I was going to respond and say something. But I was like, you know what, whatever. And I knew I was coming back, but, you know, I just wanted to walk around first. Came back around. And I said, all right, well, and he saw I had a bag in my hand, so he felt stupid. He said, oh, well, you know, I, I only said that because I have a lot of people that say I'll be back. I said, I said sir, if you, if you heard me correctly, you heard me say, I'm going to walk around. That's exactly what I said. I said, I sell here too. I didn't say I'll be back. And even if I did say that, I did come back, right? And he said, yes, you did. I said, exactly. And I was like, well, anyway, I don't want to debate or go or, or bickle and go back and forth. Because I was at the point where if he said, you know what, I don't want to sell it. I was going to, you know, tell him go fuck yourself and whatever. But, you know, his wife was, you know, his wife was like, dude, just please shut the fuck up and just sell this thing to this guy. She had that look in her eye. And he was like, well, I'll tell you what, I'll do 70 bucks on it. And I said sold. And that was it. Plain and simple. Brand new. 
Spider-Man 3, Toner, that's the name of the company, and when I saw it, it was like, from a distance, I saw it, because it was around other stuff, and then actually, that, that kid, Chris, did have like a two-pack mini and Mickey Mouse, I should have grabbed this other dude named Adam, who's a comic book guy, he grabbed it, but him and his wife loved Disney, and for him to pay $50 for it, I knew it had to be worth at least $70 to $100. I should have made a deal with Chris with this stuff as well, but I was just, I had too many customers. I had a lady steal from me. I had to chase her down. I literally, I literally, I literally was going to put my foot up her ass. Literally was going to put my foot up her ass. And um, a lot of people stopped. I was really pissed the fuck off. And I just got just so caught up in all that. I totally forgot. Some old Mexican lady too. That's the sad thing. I'm going to tell you at the flea markets, the fucking biggest thieves are always, I hate to say it, I'm not trying to sound racist, but they're always older Hispanic women for some fucking reason. Like, they got to be, they're all, they're all always in their 50s and higher. They all act like they don't fucking speak English, and they're 75% Hispanic. Not Muslims, not whites, not blacks, and not like Puerto Ricans. They're always Dominican and Central and South American for some fucking strange reason. And this is something that's well known. Anybody in the flea market can say this. And they'll be like, yeah. And I hate to say it, but it's true. I'm not trying to generalize, but for some fucking reason, people like to use not speaking English as a fucking handicap. It's fucking deplorable. But anyway, that's this stuff. So this is basically what I got. So again, I paid 70 for that. 70 for this Lego lot. So that's already 140. And 140 and 140 is 280. So 280 and 80 is 340. 340 and 5, 345. 345. And Vinny charged me a dollar for that. So that's 346. And I, I think I paid, I think Chris, I think we did 20 bucks or 10 on that. Whatever. I don't remember. But anyway, you're looking at maybe 360 bucks right here. So all this stuff cost me about 360. He alone, I can easily get two to three hundred for that, because I've seen them sold on eBay for around two forty nine pre-owned, and he actually sells for a lot more than a black suit version. But I knew it was toner, and I knew, and I was like, oh shit, Spider Man, boom, I gotta have that. If he would said like one, I mean, I, I mean, at one hundred, it was still worth it. But he's the one that talked himself down to eighty, so I knew. But then when I walked around, it took me like 30, 35 minutes to come back around. I was like, damn, what if that thing is gone? And it was still sitting there. So I was like, yes. So I was going to give him the $80. And I said, all right, well, here I am. And then when he was talking about how, you know, reason why he said this and that, because people did whatever. I never told him I was fucking coming back. And even if I did, I did, hello, I did come back. But whatever. So he's like, I guess he felt bad and decided to go $10 less. And I was going to give him the 80 for it. Hell, I was going to pay him the 100 for it. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. So he taught himself, he taught his own self down twice. So <laughs> now moving on to this stuff. Um GameStop. Obviously, everybody knows GameStop have a huge clearance going on. I went the GameStop I used to love is in Patterson. After we after the flea market, like I normally do every Saturday, I go and I donate a lot of stuff that it's kind of hard to sell a lot. If I have like Hundred like in my garage sale, I had a lot of that stuff out. People nick pick through stuff. Then I took it to the market today. People nick pick and took whatever they wanted and left the rest. So I'm like, okay, you could keep bringing it out and people will buy it, but I don't. I don't do that. I, I like to get rid of shit and start new. That's just something I do. I make my money, make a profit, do good. I and I donate the rest. We use that for taxes. Um, at the end of the year, so that's basically what I do. Um, so the, you know, at the downtown Patterson. On Main Street, downtown Patterson, there's a GameStop. They, I think there used to be a GameStop and a Think Geek. If they weren't a Think Geek, they were just as close to it because they always had all the... Before COVID, they always had all the fucking official action figures and shit. And they have got bad. And I almost got into it with the manager there because of uh, the two workers. I was just like, well... I, it, I mean, it's annoying that they have a whole bunch of shit with regular prices on it. But then it's like, okay, well, what's clearance and what not? So... The girl decided to, they had a key where they had to take stuff off off of the uh, hooks. And because I guess it's a bad store. So they just do that where, you know, they got to they gotta manually take it off because people just grab shit and just pocket it and walk out the door, I guess. So whatever. Um, 
So he comes out and he's like, oh, well, you know, instead of doing it that way, why don't y'all just, uh, and I, I got so offended and so upset and, and I got, I got real mad and I, I'll just, I gave, I gave him the look, the stupidest look. And then as he walked away, I said, bro, like, that's really fucking stupid. I, I said, now I can understand why, you know, I said with, with manager skills like that, I can, I can get why all this shit is not up to fucking date with ta- with the right tags on. I said, if people up to date and do their fucking job. And put the clearance tags on shit, then y'all wouldn't have to do that. And I wouldn't have to run around, you know, um, saying, excuse me, I'm sorry. I, and I don't even know why I said that because, you know, hey, it's not my fault that your fucking manager is not a good manager. Some funny looking loony Google ass Dominican jackass. But anyway, whatever. He could have been black. I don't say some stupid ass fucking black dude, whatever, you know, who gives a shit? But anyway, um, these are all they had that were on clearance. So I took them. I took everything that was on clearance. Everything cost me like $83 versus it. I mean, obviously it was half off of that. So all this stuff would have cost basically $170. Um, I took it because, again, it, everything was like on clearance and 50% off of clearance. So I'll just put these, I'll just bag and tag these shits. I'll just, you know, put them away. And I'll put them in bins and put them away until the time to where I sell them next year or the year after. Whatever the fuck. You know, Super 7 Transformers. You got Bumblebee here. So he was half off of 18. Then this guy, Alpha Alpha um, Tryon. I have no idea who he is, but he looks pretty dope. He looks like, he looks like a... He, he kind of looks like the granddad version of... Uh, you, ever, you guys ever used to watch the Channel 5 Kung Fu movies? Tell me he don't look like a Transformer version of like a like one of them old um, Chinese Kung Fu grandmasters. Hmm. <laughs> Damn you. So you think you can beat me, huh? He just looks like that. And this is pretty dope. And, you know, I'll, I do like these figures, but I I mean, Super 7, their prices are crazy for these three and three quarters. Like, who the fuck would want to pay this much money for these guys? Like, they, they, they have, like, five points of articulation. Legs move back and forward, arms as well, and the head goes side to side. That's five points of articulation. This is basically, I mean, come on. Like Kenner did this shit with Star Wars figures back in the back in seventy seven seventy eight. This is fucking in, in the two thousands. Like get your shit together. And then you got this guy too. He this is Kenner though. Well, it's not Kenner. This is actually Hasbro. They just you know put the Kenner logo on it. And uh, he's not Super Seven, but you know he was actually like five bucks for this Silver Surfer. Oh shit! I just realized I got two Silver Surfers today. I got the. Uh, the Marvel Legend one and this one. So grab those two. And uh, then you got uh, three Star Wars guys. You got the IG-11. You got Moff, um, Moff Gideon. He's a great actor. Uh, you know, he always played villains and stuff. He, um, I even, I mean, he even played the character in uh, the Malcolm X movie. Where he was the guy who actually killed Malcolm X. He was the first one to shoot. Then you got General Akbar. I- Admiral Akbar. Admiral. I always keep saying General. You know what I mean? And then here you got um the gold label Aang. Ten bucks each, because it was uh nineteen ninety-eight or ninety-nine, whatever the fuck it is. Then this guy here, I don't know who he is, but he's an anime character. He looks pretty dope. And it was only seventeen bucks, so half of seventeen dollars is there you have it. You know what I mean? And then uh, you got this uh, Marvel Shriek. And the only Ghostbuster they had, uh, I don't know who this who this person is, but still a Ghostbuster all in all. So I grabbed it. It was half off of this. And then this guy was like, I think he was like fucking $2 or something like that. Dryden Vaz. I don't even know who the fuck this dude is, but I'm gonna do some research on it. I might just put him upstairs in my uh, with my stuff. No, I'm not. I don't. I don't nah. It says here, public face of Crimson Dawn Crime Syndicate. Nah, not my cup of tea. So I'm gonna take the, all these prices off of these and put them away. And last but not least, this, as I said earlier in the video, is kind of retail, but it's not. I have a real legitimate vintage shaft poster. It is kind of beat up, but hey, this thing is from the fucking 70s. It is autographed by Richard Roundtree. And I took advantage of Michael's doing uh, that 70% off a of frame thing. And this is something, this is a project and something I should have did 
over three, I mean, over three years ago. That's how long I had this thing. And where I had it and how many times I kept moving it. And it's funny because this poster in a, a cheap regular frame was on this wall before we got the house redone and repainted and everything. And yes, these are colors that I picked. I picked all the colors in my house. I grew up in a house with, a, you know what I'm saying, around, I grew up around women, my God parent, my, my God family, as well as my biological mother. So we always grew up with nice shit. So I always had a real, all my brothers and sisters know how to cook. And we all have a, a eye for interior stuff. So we know how to match colors. And as you can see here, my colors are fucking phenomenal. As you can see, I'm really good with colors and stuff. So, yeah. But anyhow, I already forgot how to... F oh, yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. It was on this wall before. And then it, I got tra I transferred from this wall to this wall over, over, the, over the years. And then I took everything upstairs. And then I think I had it over here on a wall back here somewhere. And then I just rolled it up. Because the frame broke. And. Yeah. So. Without further ado. Let me put this down for a sec. Because I got to take it in. Because I actually haven't seen it yet. Actually you know what. Let's see it together y'all. Why not let y'all share it with me? Because I haven't seen it. Oh, let's see it. And of course, I had to do it upside down, right? And the reason why I did this, now the frame cost about... This frame is lightweight, but everything is up to par. It is for Michaels. The glass and everything is like, you can have it in direct sunlight and it'll, it'll take it. It is a lightweight metal frame with like a, a leather velvet type uh, border that matches perfect with this thing. Um, and the reason why I did it, you know, I grew up on shaft. I mean, you know, I mean, come on, black, a black dude and a black dude on TV back in the 70s, man. That was badass cool. And he lived in my fucking city. He lived in New York. And he was like, he gave white cops hell. I mean, this guy was the shit, man. Richard Roundtree as Shaft was the shit. Like, some of you guys may remember Christian Bell and Samuel O. Jackson as Shaft. But to me, I mean, I love Samuel O. Jackson. But when I think of Shaft, I think of Richard Roundtree. I think of original, man. Originality, man. And this is an original poster. Bam. Look at that shit, bro. Look at that shit. Tell me that's not fire. It is a metal frame. The backing by itself. This backing, because it is like a leather velvet. That's why you see all these, sting, these things in here. Like, it's fucking phenomenal. And the lady told me if, if I like, they would do it like this to make it look kind of like the old 1970s wallpaper type shit. Because obviously, if you brush it one way, it'll be lighter. You brush it another way, it'll be darker. So we came up with this idea for it to look like this, to give it that 70s look to go along with the fucking framing. Like, you know what I'm saying? And, um, I mean, you know, the, the poster, you know, I mean, it is an old poster and it does have some, it has some roughness around the edges, but it is an original, it is original poster, y'all. This is not a remake. That is original, because there's going to be some haters there, 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 there fucking perfect like look how the purple and then she said if they do it it would come oh man it's just fucking sexy man and look at that signature that is real pin that is not like razor edge or anything that is rich roundtree's signature 1999 sign baby yeah yeah buddies who is the man that's going to be hanging on Mike's fucking wall, banging ass, looking in a banging ass frame? Shaft, you're damn right. Some of y'all might be like, man, bro, it's not that serious. No, it is that serious. This shit is just as serious as me trying to get my shit signed tomorrow, hopefully live to see by my man Tom Welling. The only other signature that I would like just as much or more than Tom Wellings is Mr. T himself. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
But this shit is beautiful, man. I mean, just the boarding alone without the 70% came up to 485 or something like that because how big the poster is. You know what I mean? So that mean that means a lot. Plus it's like a special material. It's like a leather, what to call it. You know what I mean? So that alone and of course size means everything. Size and customization and it cuts in. As you can see here, like you see the white like right around the, it cuts. It does, it's not just flat, but it actually cuts in and that make that means a lot and says a lot as well. Same thing with this framing. This is metal. I went with metal instead of wood. Even she agreed to it and the way they backed it on here to to get out a lot of the creasing so they flattened it. And that was a fee. I mean, obviously, I mean, it's just like for a lot of people like Wanting to get books, like right before you, you take a lot of your books to um to get graded, like comic books to get graded, you, you could take it to some comic shops and they have people that can flatten out can flatten out the book real good so you can get a better grade and shit like that. It's cheats to shit. And that's basically basically what they did with this. And I love the I love all that because it, it shows that it's real, it's original, it's from the fucking seventies, and it shows it's like wearing a nice pair of old sneakers. You know, like, shit, it just adds character to it. And, like, the picture, like, what she did on the computer shows, I mean, it is, I mean, this thing came out way more better than what I expected. And the fact that we went with metal, this is like a brush uh, metal. It was either this or the gunpowder, um, not, not gunpowder, gun metal. But I like this one better. It's like a nice met, met black, I mean, met, um, met. Yeah, a matte black, excuse me. And the way they backed it and everything. And the reason why I went with this, because since it's an older poster, and because it's a poster and it's an original poster, she said it'll, it'll be better, it'll hold better and everything with metal versus being wood. Because over time, the wood can warp and stuff like that. And it does, you don't have that problem with like a, a, a regular ink print, as she called it, and or like acrylic and stuff like that. But when it comes to like movie posters... She said you should always go with metal because, you know, she know her shit. And this is like a shatterproof glass. It's not really plastic. It's not acrylic. And it's not really, I forgot what glass they call it, but it's a special glass that goes over everything and it helps keep everything together. And even if the frame falls, depending on what it lands on, it's very hard that this would come across and it's very hard that this would even shatter. And on top of that, if sun hits it, it won't fade because, I mean, it, it's dope, man. Like, everything came up to, like, I think 1400 because, again, size means everything um, with framing. And it was 70% off of that. And then she used a coupon for me where I got, like, another 20%. So this shit wound up, the framing and everything alone wound up costing me just around four something. So I was, I was like, that's cool because this thing's supposed to have been fucking done years ago. And if it was done years ago, it wouldn't look this good. I wouldn't have got this deal. And they probably didn't even have that, that leather backing. So this shit came out really, really dope. Look, Zay Zay. Yeah. No, I, you, you ain't going to be on video. Just look at this. This is the, my poster. You remember this poster before. So I finally, after three years, I finally got it done. I thought they messed it up. Nah. Remember, it was messed up. But they, they, they did a good job fixing it up really good. Look how nice that is. it looks beautiful, don't it? Yeah, they restored it. Yeah, and, and they are, you know the framing and everything. That's cool. Yeah. So anyway, y'all, that's it. So thanks for watching. Peace, love, and hair grease. And hopefully, I might be able to do some video tomorrow, and maybe I'll get a chance to record uh, the the cast of Smallville if they allow me to. I'm gonna ask them before I do it because I don't want to come across too. I mean, intrusive and have them be like, "What the fuck is this guy doing?" Because I don't know. Um, so yeah, we're going to go early in the morning, so I'm going to lay out my shit, get my shit together, because I got to represent, I got to look good for pretty boy Tom Welling, I got to look good for my girl Christian, aka Lana Lang, because I always wanted to meet her, fucking beautiful, sexy ass, little bi biracial hottie, and of course, the best looking Lois Lane to ever hit the screen in my book, which is played by, which is Erica, who played uh, Lois Lane in a, in a TV show. Um, so yeah, I'm not trying to disrespect any other Lois Lane. I guess, I guess the only other Lois Lane that comes close to her, to me, actually, no, no, I think she would be the original, 
But now that I think about it, the, the the lady who played Lois Lane from Lois and Clark, Terry Terry Fisher was sexy too. She was pretty. So I can't I can't exclude her. And I can't exclude the lady who played what was that what, what was it? Lois and Clark, the um that came on WB, I think it's still on. That's actually a good show. Where they have kids now, they move back to the farm and the kids find out the powers and I think the youngest son has the powers. I don't know if the oldest son gonna get him later on. I don't really know, but it's actually a pretty decent show. And the far and you know, Lois's father, he's in the army and you know, he knows about Clark and knows that he's Superman and it's like a whole family thing. I actually like that show. It's actually to me I like it. But anyway, peace, love, and hate grease to y'all dogs. Peace.